Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today I want us to read from the book of Luke chapter 5. We will start from verse 17. And this will be from the NIV. Join me. One day Jesus was teaching and Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee and from Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. You could call it a mat, you could call it a stretcher. And tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd right in front of Jesus. Verse 20. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Can you be accused of people seeing you and saying that they've seen your faith? What did Jesus see that is recorded that he, he said that he saw their faith? Let's take that story again. We'll go slowly. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. So they tried one way and they failed because there were so many people. Typically, if they were not convinced about what they wanted to do, they could have just called it quits and said, there's too much stress today, maybe some other time. But these friends could might not have been so into the matter that they say, ah, my dear friend, look for somebody else to carry you in next time. I have business to attend to. But these chaps, when they tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus, when they could not find a way to do this, so they tried and they couldn't find a way this way, that way, this way, that way, they didn't give up. It says, when they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof. So they tried the sides, the front, the back, and there was no way. They said there must be a way. They didn't give up. They went up onto the roof. They went on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles in the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. And this action was what Jesus saw, and he called it faith. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, Who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? All that is nice and good. But where I want us to just settle down on is, These chaps did something. And in doing that thing, the act was seen as faith by Jesus. So what act are you doing? Because my, the, my Bible makes me understand that faith is an act. Just like as these chaps acted out something, their action showed uh, it was seen as faith, as confidence, as trust, as belief. They came there for Jesus to heal their friend and they were not going to take no for an answer. Despite the opposition, despite the challenges they met today, they, did, they refused to take no for an answer. Rather, they still went ahead and climbed onto the roof. Some other versions say that they damaged that roof, tore apart the tiles, and then let their friend down through that roof on his mat, on his stretcher. And this action triggered something in Jesus. And by extension, triggered something in the heart of the Father. This action pleased the Father. Because for it is impossible to please God without faith. Jesus saw their faith. The four friends plus this chap who was paralyzed. Because if he did not have faith in his friends and faith in Jesus... He would have told them, drop me, don't, don't take me up there. I might fall down and I'll be in a worse state than I am, I am already. I'm paralyzed yet. I might lose my life. Don't do it. But all of them had confidence that, look, if we get before Jesus, this thing is done. 
And Jesus saw their action and termed it faith. And went ahead and not only dealt with his with his his body, or sorry, his uh, physical body, but dealt with his spiritual state. He says, your sins are forgiven you. And the people, could, those around, couldn't really understand what he was saying. He says, who can forgive sins but God alone? In essence, in this little passage, they were saying, whether they knew it or not, that if Jesus could forgive sins, he is God. Jesus knew what they were thinking and asked, why are you thinking these things in your heart? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, which, is, which nobody can prove, or get up and walk. Which, if you mess up, and it doesn't, it doesn't, have, it doesn't happen, that you are a charlatan. So he was saying, okay, I will do the one that you can see immediate proof to the, to tell you whether I can do the other one, which is not visible. And he said, but I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. Immediately, he stood up in front of them took what he had been lying on and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God. They were filled with awe and said, we have seen remarkable things today. Take note, they said, it's only God that can forgive sins. And he says, okay, I will prove to you that I have authority here. In essence saying, I will prove to you that I am God. I am God in human form. I will tell this man, get up, take up your bed and go. And if it happens, you will know that I have authority to forgive sins. In essence, it was saying, in, if, if this happens, you know that I am God. It is happening at my instance. I am God in flesh. God the Son. And he did it. Many of us forget or don't even pay attention to that little bit of scripture. But it's very paramount. But I come back again. What actions are you carrying out that Jesus can see your faith that men can see and say ah this guy has faith or this lady has faith this one trusts god what you are doing is either telling them that you trust god or you trust in that circumstance to twat what god has said are we seeing your faith demonstrated this these four friends and the paralyzed fellow had their their faith was being demonstrated and jesus saw it and honored it the same way jesus will honor your faith god the father will honor your faith if he sees your faith god bless you hallelujah